you will need the following items. So now, this first hint, we're going to make an owl one. So take your construction paper, then take a pencil and draw out a square. And if, depending on the bookmark size you want, just do it as size as you want. So, with that. Now, just cut it out. This is what it should look like. Next, fold it like this. So, that. Now, I'm making a pretty small one, but you can make a bigger one, but the owl's gonna be pretty small, but. So now, it should be like that. Next, take it, fold it in half again. Keep it folded in half. Um, then you want to take the corner and pull over so it's massively at the top. Now, mine is turned out pretty tiny. I didn't expect it to be this tiny. And then you'll have this. So then take it apart like that, and then take the front piece of it and fold it over to the bottom of the crease. And make sure this point does not go over the lap. So then, what you're going to do is take this piece and you're going to fold it in here. And as you can see what I'm doing. And it should look like this. Mine did not turn out amazing, but pretty good. Next, take your piece and take your paper, some key paper you have. And go, and you also need white paper, but you want to overlap it on this, so um, you're gonna take a piece and so you're gonna trace it on first, of course. I'm not very good tracing, <laughs> so like that. Now, just you want to cut that out following the line you have made. Now cut along the bottom. It should look like this. Take your glue and take your folded piece um, and then get your glue, some glue. I am having some difficulties. So, um, take your, your glue and put some on the back of your, what you call it, um, bookmark. Topper, I'll, we'll just call it that for now. Now, I have to wipe my glue to sink down. I don't know about you, but I definitely do, so. So now just get some glue. Don't put too much on, but just put enough to make sure it will stay on. I'm using glue again. <laughs> so now, just take the top of this piece and put it at the top. And it will make a wonderful topper for your owl. So now this is what it should look like. And next, so, um, you're gonna just take it and um, trace the whole thing this time. Now there's a certain reason we do this, but I will mention, it's just because you want to slip inside right here, even though it looks fine being yellow, it makes it look a little bit more nice and neat, like, like so, so, just got that. Now cut that out. So once you have your piece, um, I did those chickens, Slip it in and make sure it fits good. And it's okay if you have a little extra on the sides, but you'll slip the corners of your book in here. But you gotta put some glue on that, of course. Let it go again. And you do wanna get it on all because it just helps keep it in and glue is very helpful, so. So now that I have it, you're just gonna slip it in and try to do it on the side that it would fit in the best. So my, in my case, it'd be on this side. And then try to just um, go on the side and push it down until it dries. And then you've got this. So now to make the owl look. So now to make the look like an owl, take some white paper and you're going to trace two eyes. Make sure these are about a good size. So I'm thinking about this size. And then make two little dots for the eyes. And a, and a trick I find helpful is using the eraser and just kind of erasing the outer edge, but you can still see it. So yeah. Now just cut 
those eyes out. So now just take your glue and glue the eyes on. And make sure you find you place them where you want them to be. So that you already know. And I will make a monster bookmark later. But for now we're just making the owl. So take it. And now mine are a little uneven as you can tell. But that's good enough. So now just take your scissors and Get another kind of paper and cut out a little small like diamond. So it's easy to use a corner. So yeah, like cut out a little corner. Make sure you don't have any other papers with you. Also get a double sided thing. And it's actually kind of easier if you trace it out first. But that's fine if you don't. So yeah, like cut out a little corner. Make sure you don't have any other papers with you. Also get a double sided thing. And it's actually kind of easier if you trace it out first, but that's fine if you don't. So now just glue it on in the middle of your eyes for the little beak. Like so. And then you've got yourself a little beak. So now just take this again, and this time you're going to want to trace it. So take your pencil. And make sure you can trace the belly. So, I just like to do bellies like this. I don't know how you guys like to do them. But just make sure, so just then cut that out. And you can make as many of these in different colors. You can even make them in different patterns for the body. It doesn't have to be a picture or something. Because this is all about how you want to do it, not me. Oh, dear, the... Now, it's good if these dry, but now you kind of want to glue it on like you do with a beak and try to match it up. So take your glue. Put it on the back. I advise doing about that much, depending on how big it's going to be. So this is about what it should look like. You can add little details for the eyes and stuff, but this is what mine looks like. Now time to do our monster. So move that thing aside and grab your next color of construction paper or it can be the same color. So now just cut out it like you did with the past one. I hope this one will turn out a tiny bit bigger because it'd be nice. And just fold it again. So if you forgot, take it and make it like a double triangle. And I don't cut perfect, so... I don't know how yours is going to turn out, or mine. Just depends on the way you cut it. So now, like, remember, just take this part, like that. Just copy what I'm doing. Now just choose your next pattern of thing, Bob. I don't really want to do something really cute for the monster. So I'm just going to do this plaid. So like um, I, you did with the first one, take your pencil and make do the one step where you trace it. Now this would be much easier if you had a different way to do it. So just do the steps for this part and this part that you do with the owl. So now after you've got it, I'm um, like that. Take your scissors and pencil and of course make the eyes again. So this one is probably slightly a little bigger than the owl. Well, not slightly, but a ton. This is the real size it should be, but this size is about good. It's good as well. So it's okay if you make one a little bigger than the other than this one because, I mean, people. And then try to make them look a little cuckoo. So, like, one thing right here and then the other down here. Too many monsters are probably cuckoo anyways. So I'm just doing those eyes. 
I'm just using white printer paper for the white parts and yeah, printer paper is like amazing. Now just trying to make them look a little jaggedy if you can too. Foreground is also good. So just glue those eyes on like you did again. So, oh, oh dear. Yes, the eyes are gonna be beautiful. I hope at least. To get those eyes on. So that's my eyes. So now the finishing test touch the touch is to make the teeth. Now just make some teeth that are like just some weird teeth that nobody in reality would probably want. And make sure that's about good enough. So that's about my the size. Well, how long it should be for the, my size. So now these are my little teeth. And these are just the perfect size. Let's take your glue. Now on this one, you just kind of want to go at the top. You want to get it all over the glue. So if you take your book and take, I'm going to show you how to do with both of these. So the small one, open the page. Let's just pretend I'm at page 53. So you put in the corner of all of these like that. And then when you open it, you're like, oh yeah, I'm on. And then you see right here. No, not right there. <laughs> I'm trying to paint one. Okay, ne never mind. Okay, let's just start out with this part. So, like I said, <laughs> go to that page. And let's say I'm on this page. So I would take it and place it right here. And then when you open it up, you're like, oh yeah, hey, I'm on this page. <laughs> and then you could just use it to mark your pages. And this is what it looks like with the monster. You can also use a cover. And then when you take it out, boom, there's little teeth. So these are the ones we made. We made the owl bookmark and the, the monster. So these are really cute things we can make. And be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. So yeah, guys, have a great day, night, wherever Perfect. you are. <laughs> See you guys.